oh man, you could just see one is about to fall off right here. So we have to get him to Dr. Gillen. It's just, um, this is just what happens. Some of these animals come in and they're just a little bit beat up. What's going on everyone? Ken in here. Kate's holding the camera. Hi Kate. Hello. How you doing? Good. All right. I'm happy she's here. It's been a little while since she's been hanging out. She's on spring break everyone. So wish her a happy spring mm -hmm. break. She doesn't have to teach children at the moment. Uh, today, what are we doing today? Uh, we're administering medicine and That's right. food. Yes. So today we are um, working with uh, two monitors and these are from my friend Jerry. And Jerry recently was able to acquire a group of animals. They were imported animals and oh, you gotta be careful. No, she's fine. Oh, hey, don't bite me, kid. There we go. Hold on. So they were imported animals and most of them are doing very well. Uh, he is now actually, she's just making little poops. Uh, he is actually out kayaking somewhere in the Everglades. That's fine. Fishing and kayaking. He's a real old school Florida dude. So a straight up Florida cracker, man. That dude loves to be out in the wilderness, um, which is why we're pals. And he loves reptiles. And he asked me if I would help him out with this monitor though, that's just, it, she's skinny. If it is in fact a she, I don't know. Uh, she's pretty skinny, um, you know, so I'm gonna try and doctor her up and get some of this critical care into her. She's very alive, very um, not lethargic at all. Uh, it's a little tiny Asian water monitor. And um, this little one here uh, is the one that's just not eating. Has He has not seen it eat. So while he's away, I'm just doctoring this animal up. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Um, I've been doing this with Bobby Rabina, who's still kicking. Bobby's still alive. I don't know what's going on with him, but he's still alive. And I recently found out through some of the um, forums and uh, monitor groups that a few of these um, monitor lizards, uh, black throats, have similar issues that's going on. So right now this one's just going to not be happy. So what I want to do is gently, usually you'll have a tube that goes down the throat. But right now what we're doing is we're just going to let this one, I just gently, he's clamped down on this. You want to make sure that this is in fact far enough back so you don't wind up uh, getting anything in the animal's lungs. So she's clamped onto it. So what I'm gonna do is just annoy her a little bit. And I keep calling it to her, I have no idea. I know, is that just, in, you know, why? Why well, do you go to her? Because she's... She's trouble. She's giving me trouble. That's funny. No, I'm teasing. No, just because, um, I don't know, it's just a thing of mine. So Let's if she's see. clamped down, you can't push that thing? I is can't that push happening? it, yeah, that's, I don't want to push it and hurt her. Um, what I'm trying to do is just get her to to kind of open up and she's not gonna. So what? I, there's always gonna be a little action here that you don't plan on when dealing with animals. So we just roll with it. So what do I do? We just kind of let her do her thing. She's kind of clamped on, she's loosened up a bit. If you like tickle her belly or uh, something. I don't know, but you could see she's real thin. Yeah. Um, you know, she's thin, there's no tone here um, in the muscles. And so this critical care is good because it's got the nutrients, but it's also got uh, liquids. There we go. There we go. What could be some of the reasons she's not eating? Parasites, stress from being um, traveling, you know, all these things. So what we want to do is, even with the healthy animals, once they're eating, you feed them for a few weeks, get them uh, strong enough, de-stress them, and then you can get them on some kind of uh, deworming and flagell and things like that, which are gonna, you know, help them out. Personally, this is why, for me, I always, talk about captive bred animals, but you know, Jerry had a good opportunity. We're just squeezing a little in. Just a little bit in. And these, when these animals clamp down, they do not want to let go. That is a strong jaw. There we go. See, I just put it, you want to get past the glottis is what you're trying to do so that you don't accidentally get them anything in their lungs. So we're doing that. Was that like a particular something you could feel, the galatus? Well, it's just something I kind of know. Um, you you know, it's up in here, so you want this to go past that. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've now got the food in, and she's just holding on. So what I can do, if I can't really get her to open, I'll just put her down, and she'll, she'll just, look, she's just walking around with that in her mouth. There you go. So she's gone in and kind of thrown it out of her mouth. She doesn't look like she's gurgling or 
I want to just hold her before I, so I can put her over there and then I can grab this. Oh. <laughs> just grab that. Now I got that out. Now we lock her in. And I've also kept her in a small enclosure um, just so that she's getting natural sun and, you know, we're trying to de-stress her. All right, now for my next trick, we got to go this way. And no, oh, this is not going to be easy. Okay. Um, so you guys met Inky, right? Inky's an awesome lizard, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. So Inky's cool. And um, I'm going to show you now a bigger Inky. And this is one, the male of Jerry's pair of black dragons. So I have it right here. Um, similar situation. It, was, it had a respiratory problem. It was gurgling. It had a little discharge from its eyes. And you'll also notice that it's missing some digits. And that's common. There it is. That's common with animals that have been imported. Now for me here, oh look at this big old poop right there. Oh, we wow. can spray that out while I'm at it. Um, yeah, that's that's something. We got wow. Inky and we got Stinky. Yes, that's right. We are gonna name one of our lizards uh, Stinky eventually. I need, what do I need, hon? I don't know. I need paper towels. Oh, paper towels. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta wipe that up. Here, look at that. And again, Jerry made this enclosure. It's very simple. It's almost like a hospital enclosure. We're not trying, we're not giving them the space yet because we want to make sure he's eating which this animal has been and we want to make sure that he is convalescing properly so simply we're just going to wipe this up that's what we're going to do um and then the next thing i got to do is i've got to grab this guy all right well I, I where should i be you're fine right there just really? keep keep the action he's not gonna come like i don't this know way. he might he might and escape he might. Be good. I'm not gonna catch him. What has to happen is I've got to grab him mm. quickly because this animal is large enough to hurt me. Listen, I'm gonna come on this side. All right, you go ahead. Oh. Up, 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 up. All right, I made a mistake because I just accidentally pushed that down on him. But what I can do, just kind of squish him in there. You see right there? So what I need to do is, is kind of get at him. This, this is tough. Hmm. Let's think a minute on this. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, I, I know what I'm gonna do. So let me show you guys what we gotta do. Remember, we're not trying to stress this animal out, but the best thing I can do, uh, and I had two towels. Where did I They're right here. Oh, by geez, the key. I, just, I was just wondering what those towels were for. <laughs> this will be a good opportunity. So simply, what you can do with a frightened animal, and what you want to try and do is you want to obviously keep it from freaking out. And I, I got to tell you, I'm not a fan of this front loading thing here. Um, this is very difficult for me to grab. You things. would rather to be up top, I yeah? I think so, yeah. So here we go. Up, 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 up. That's a problem. See, that's why I didn't that's want why to I don't be like on it. that side. I don't like this because he could just split on us if you wanted it. Oh. There's his little head, so anyway, this is what we got to do. This is the deal. There's a tongue. I'm That's screwing up there. left and right. Uh, got him. Again, not the cleanest. It's okay, though. You're okay. You're okay, little guy. Alright, give it there. Alright, well, All right, just relax, nice. just relax. He's gotta relax. I just want him to stop struggling. Oh, there's a lot of poops. Oh. A lot of poops, a lot of poops, a lot of poops. That's alright, that's alright, that's okay. All right. He knows, he knows what's going on here. He knows he's gonna get picked. Alright, Ma, come on close. I want to show you guys what's going on. Alright, you sure you got him good? Yeah, I've got him good. Okay. Um, but you can see that rear foot. Here, yeah. watch. I'm gonna just keep that tail. Both feet. Yeah. That's look, so he's big. he's missing some digits. Yeah. And um, oh man, you could just see one is about to fall off right here. So we have to get him to Dr. Gillen. It's just um, this is just what happens. Some of these animals come in and they're just a little bit beat up. And uh, he can live a perfectly fine life, but it just sucks to see such a beautiful animal having such trouble. But Jerry definitely knows what he's doing and uh, he's built some really nice enclosures for him and obviously you know I'm gonna do the best I can now these this will heal up but I just don't like the fact that there's another digit that's just 
Was that like that? Uh, I believe, I don't know. I don't think and it was. Do we know like how that happened? It could be that from the, ah, oh, there you go. Oh. I know, it seems oh. horrible, but that was just on there by a thread. Oh, like it's, a loose tooth almost. It's horrible, yeah, it just seems like it might have, just from whatever transport this animal had, I will tell you that I think Stinky is the appropriate name for yeah, this animal. Yeah, he does smell. Whew. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get him. Uh, what do we do now? Well, you go ahead and just do what you're doing. I'm just going to do a quick subcutaneous. Could you grab me the uh, syringe over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a quick subcutaneous uh, injection of this guy. And then we're going to put him back in his little house. <sighs> And I'm going to just kind of kneel on him right here, gently. I don't want to stick myself, but we're going to go just under the skin right here. Okay? We're going to inject. And this is what we're doing. Do you think with that thick skin, he feels that? Oh, he feels it. Yeah, yeah. They, they got good nerves. Um, they can feel for sure. But we're trying to doctor him up, guys. Now, there's no reason this animal won't um, calm down. Uh, they do tame up quickly. They're intelligent animals. He's just been through a lot with the whole shipping process coming from Southeast Asia. And uh, there's definitely been some trauma. You can see he's missing a toe here. Um, the injections we give him are going to help fight any kind of um, any kind of uh, infection. Thank you. And um, but we still need to get him to Doctor Gillen because we uh, he's got to get looked at. Because um, if the infection's gotten the bone, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. But. Other than the missing digits. The respiratory seems to be getting better, which is nice. He's very warm to the touch, which is good also. But he's a beautiful animal. He's eating. He's got thick weight. You know, he's got nice weight here in the base of his tail. Um, and you see, he's, he's not trying to uh, murder me, which is nice. No, he's calmed. Yeah, he's calmed down. He right gets there. real flat, though. Yeah, he flattens out. That's just his, he's trying to hide, you know? Yeah. Okay, so you guys have seen this black monitor, this black dragon rather. He's going to probably do another round of scratching and being a naughty monitor. Right, well, what you I put him in and I can put, put that up as you put him in. Well, what I want to do first, we've wiped, we've cleaned out his enclosure. We're just going to hide this that, and we're going to kind of push him towards that. We want him to kind of go into this. Like so. See, he knows that's uh, his little spot. Right, he feels safe. He there. feels safe in there. So there you go, people. Um, man, there's always a lot going on, right, hon? Oh, yeah. There's always a lot Wait, happening. what about the finger? I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah, I'll get everything. I mean, it's horrible. Yeah, I mean, that's we don't want to glorify that. But, no, but this is something that, you know, I don't know. This is, for me, it's... Imports when I first moved to Florida, I used to get imports and I was uh, So excited to be able to buy oh my god I could get tortoises for like 50 bucks big beautiful tortoises and Most of them died because I didn't know about worming. I didn't know about the stress these animals were in um, You know, this was an opportunity that he was able to get these animals um, He took it. He knows what he's doing. Many of the animals are fine, but there are a couple as you can see in this video that needs some extra work. And if you're not prepared to do that, um, it's just not worth doing. That's why I always say captive bred is the way to go. Um, that being said, out of the amount of animals he got, you know, two is not bad. So uh, we're gonna doctor him up. That's what I'm here for, what a friend's for. And uh, we're gonna make sure the animal does well. We'll keep you guys abreast of the situation. And uh, man, let's keep our fingers crossed. We'll hope these two pull through. I'm sure this large monitor will. It's that little one that I'm just a little bit nervous about. I wanna make sure that that little gal is eating. Uh, this boy is gonna get doctored up. We'll take him to Dr. Gillum. I'll let you guys know what's going on. Follow along. I love sharing everything with you, showing you the ups and downs, the good and the bad, and all the challenges involved in keeping these animals. All right, everyone. I'm Kenan. It's Sunday. It's a video. It's... I don't know what day it is. It's Tuesday. Yeah, that's what day it is. Sure. It's Tuesday. Thanks for watching. We'll have some more videos on Friday. Aquascape guys are here. It's going to be awesome. I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and uh, tell me about, I don't know, tell me about you doctoring up some of your animals. What have you had to deal with 
with some of your pets. So let me know in the comments below, share ideas, I learn from you as well. So thanks so much guys, we'll see you soon. I got this poop to get rid of. That's it, oh God.